Today's lesson is going to be on power, which is a continuation of our work on energy. Okay, the objectives of this lesson is to simply identify power as the rate that work is done. How quickly is this object or system doing work? Uh, and we'll also be able to calculate using the various power formulas. Okay, so power is the rate that energy is transformed. So I'm, how quickly is my transforming energy from potential energy of some sort into kinetic energy or useful energy? Okay, so power is the rate that work is done or the work divided by time. The units that we're going to use for power is joules. I mean, the units for power is watts and one watt corresponds to one joule per second. Okay, so for example, the cost for electricity is 3 times 10 to the, oops, it should be minus 8. Um, it should, 3 times 10 to the minus 8 <coughs> dollars per joule. Okay, and a 60 watt light bulb is turned on for one hour. How much did it cost? Okay, well 60 watt is power. Okay, so what we need to figure out is how many joules did this watt bulb use? Okay, so 60 is the watts, okay, time needs to be converted to seconds, and there are 60 minutes in an hour and 60 seconds in a minute, and that's going to equal our work. How much work did this light bulb actually do? So it's 60 times 60 times 60, or let's see, um, 60 times 60 times 60 gives me... Get out the calculator here. 216,000 joules. Okay, and then I would multiply that by the cost per joule. So we multiply that by 3 times 10 to the minus 8 dollars per joule. And we find that the cost is... Uh, 0 0.0065 cents or 0 0.065 dollars. Okay, so basically running this light bulb for an hour cost us less than a penny. Um, so when your parents complain about uh, leaving the lights on, you can tell them how much it really costs for that hour and give them a penny so you can run it for two hours. Uh, so, alternative formulas, okay, besides power simply being work over time, we can make a substitution for work. Remember, work is equal to force times distance times the cosine of theta, okay, uh, where theta is the angle between force and displacement. Uh, rearranging it, I get force times the cosine of theta, distance over time, or displacement over time. And I can rewrite that again now as force times average velocity, V bar, okay, that's what V bar is, average velocity, times the cosine of the angle between the force and the average velocity, okay. So that's an another formula that we can use, and that's going to be useful in an example like this, okay. I have an electric motor that raises a 5 kilogram bucket of water at a constant speed of 1.2 meters per second. How much power does the motor provide? Okay, so this is uh, a situation that I'm going to need to do power is equal to force times constant velocity times the cosine of theta. Now, my, if I think about this, this is the force of the motor. Okay, it is opposing the force of gravity and it is the same magnitude because it's moving at a constant speed. And my displacement is upward, so my cosine of theta is going to be cosine of zero. So this is simply going to be m times g times v bar times the cosine of zero, okay, which turns out to be 5 times 10 times 1.2, and that gives me 60 watts, <coughs> okay. So that's how much power the motor provides. It's 60 watts to lift this 5 kilogram bucket at a constant speed of 1.2 meters per second. Thank you.